we're being asked to graph this rational function and notice how there are four terms up in the numerator which tells us we should try factoring by grouping and let's take this x squared or x cubed <coughs> minus x squared minus 9x plus 9 and let's group it by splitting it right down the middle from the first two terms we can factor out an x squared and have x minus 1 left over then factor out a minus 9 and have x minus 1 left over. This becomes x minus 1 times x squared minus 9 which becomes x plus 3 and x minus 3. So our original function that's up top there can be rewritten as r of x equals x minus 1 x plus 3 times x minus 3 all over x squared. Now let's do some analysis on this function right here. Looking at the numerator, we find out that x equals 1 and plus and minus 3 will give us the x-intercepts. Looking at the denominator, we see that at x equals 0, <coughs> also known as the y-axis, we will have a vertical asymptote. Then we substitute 0 into the function, and r of 0, when you substitute that in, we divide by 0, so we're going to get 9 over 0, which is undefined, and that basically means there will be no y-intercept, which is consistent with the vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And then we look at the degree of the function, and going back up to the original problem, we can just do some division place by place by place, and when we divide, we're going to have a slant asymptote at y equals x minus 1, and we'll ignore the rest of it because that's just the remainder and here we go. Let's plot our x-intercepts first. We will have one at positive 1, positive 3, and negative 3. We will have a vertical asymptote along the y-axis here. And we will have a diagonal asymptote having a y-intercept of negative 1 and then going up 1 over 1. So that becomes our diagonal asymptote. <clears throat> now we know our curve is going to go through this intercept here and we've got a couple boundaries on the left so it looks to me like we've got this function on the left. Um, because our denominator is x squared which has even multiplicity that tells me that my graph is going to approach the same infinity on both sides of this vertical asymptote. So my graph is going to come down, cross through, turn around at some point, and come on up and then hug that asymptote over on the right. Because on the far left and the far right we always hug our asymptotes. We can cross a horizontal or a slant asymptote in the center of our graph if we need to.